Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Line, please, The Binding of Isaac. Afterbirth, well, you know what they say, you know, why do we fall down, Master Wayne? Wait, what, what happens when we fall down, Master Wayne? Why do we fall, Master Wayne? I think that's what he says. Squeezy, MT1Y0MW7, and 48 hour energy, which is worthless to us, effectively. Although the battery charge on the ground may prove useful, depending on if we can get a spacebar item here, but good lord. I don't know what my HP is, but my other stats are actually fantastic. Um, I am shooting very quickly. The shots are doing a lot of damage. I mean, I expected a good rate of fire thanks to Squeezy, at least a better than average rate of fire. Uh, but this is... <laughs> it's like my favorite framework for a joke. I mean, I expected a high rate of fire, but this is ridiculous! You know, like... I really would like to get Matchbook. But ironically, to get Matchbook, we need a bomb, which might require getting Matchbook in order to get... You get the idea. This is, uh, when I was saying, why do we fall, Master Wayne? It's just because the streak, you know, it ended on a, a run that was actually pretty good, but kind of lost a little bit of its momentum. Every loss should teach you something. I believe in that principle, and, uh, we're living on that principle. Tommy, not to get cocky. And especially don't get cocky just having Blue Candle, you know. Some poor play completely derailed that when we could have been in a, a totally winnable situation. I think I'm just going to head down to the next floor, and I'm going to say, you know what? I don't really care what you have to offer. I'm not interested. Let's move on. We have an amazing foundation. I should have known that we, of course, have two spirit hearts, so I could spend one of them to get match uh, stick. Is it worth... Oh, that was really good. Is it worth a spirit heart to get match stick? Uh, if you have no other trinket, which we don't... I think I'm, I'm not making a rule here. I'm just providing some context. If you have no other trinket... And you know that you have a spirit heart left over. Why not? I gotta, like, one second here. Pause. Alright. I heard, like, a high-pitched ringing sound, and I was like, I want to make sure that's not in the video. I'm pretty sure it's tinnitus. <laughs> I was li maybe listening to some music a little too loudly. Um, you know, that's no joke, kids. Take care of your ears. I just, I, I didn't realize was outside. We'll take uh, E. coli here. Trust me, I mean, you're gonna say, Hey, Dad, I'll miss listening to my music as loud as I want. Right? Quite honestly, as long as you use headphones, I don't give a shit. If you got your music cranked up and you're uh, putting your subwoofer against your neighbor's wall, you're an asshole. But uh, if you're, you know, just damaging your own ears, I don't care, you know, uh, let it let it ring, man. Listen to freaking Caribbean Queen by Billy Ocean, see if I care. That being said, um, you're gonna want to take care of your ears, man. You don't want to be 30 years old and be like, Huh? Huh? Maybe you do. I don't know. Maybe that's deathcore. That's what kids are into these days. I have no idea. Oh my god. Well, you're probably going to be deaf from watching these videos anyway, or at least hard of hearing from watching these videos. I'm going to hopefully not ruin my deal with the devil chance. It's not even the, like, the loss of a life is irrelevant at this point. <laughs> it's, they, wow, Northern Lion's coming over the top. Uh, Discriminating against death people and saying that loss of life is not a big deal. You're, you're taking me out of context here on both of those points. Um, the point is... Ooh, that's a trinket that's acceptable. The point here is... Um, you know, we got nine lives, so losing one of those lives is meaningless. It doesn't make a difference. However, uh, losing our deal with the devil possibly sets us back quite far. Uh, this kind of sucks, so I'm going to buy a key... I'm gonna buy this, and the Empress is okay. We'll see what kind of enemy we end up coming across. I think that this is a great opportunity to use a bomb. And as a result, thanks to Lucky Rock, we'll pick up quite a lot of money there. We've got Monstro. I don't think a regular Monstro is worth using uh, the Empress card for. We should pretty easily be able to get out of this one without taking damage. Okay, big whiff, unfortunately, with the uh, blue candle there. But this will kill it. So we will get our deal with the devil. It will almost certainly kill us. So let's wait to take the HP. Yeah, okay. Die, take Cain being Conception. You could kill yourself, go back into the deal with the devil. Oh, we could just go back in right now and take Ghost Baby. Honestly, like, it's not very good. Ghost Baby, that is, but... Eight lives, seven lives. It, it should make no difference. I hope that it makes no difference. So we're just gonna... Say okay, basically, and and sacrifice one life for Ghost Baby. If it ends up mattering, that's going to look like an idiotic decision. But uh, in most situations, it will not end up mattering. Let's hope that this is one such situation. Okay. 
We got tons of money. Money is not a problem as long as we can gain bombs. Obviously, like, well, not, maybe not obviously, but an ideal setup here for us would be to get, like, Mom's Purse from our shop and then get, uh... Ooh, it's interesting. And then get, um... Burnt Penny. And we could basically create an infinite supply of both money and bombs as a result of that kind of Ouroboros there, which would be awesome, but... Um, for now... Sure, we spent 10 cents making this happen, but we got Fanny Pack, and we also got a bomb. One bomb is probably worth, you know, anywhere between 3 and 7 cents, depending on how we manage to use it. So, I think that in the end, this is probably going to end up looking like a pretty smart decision. Of course, then I squandered one bomb by uh, trying to find a second secret room just on a lark. So, I pretty much do as I say, not as I do sort of moment here. Addicted. Not bad. If we walked on the spikes in here, we'd be dead anyway. And we finally got a chance to see what the addicted uh, tier effect actually, or not tier effect, but, you know, status effect actually looks like. Yeah, that's real good. We'll take the soul. And we'll just land one blue candle shot and wipe all these guys out. Uh, the soul... Short term, the spirit hearts are just, like, absolutely essential in order to give us a good deal with the devil chances in our near future. And then, of course, long... Oh, God, move. <laughs> long term, the ability to not have to worry about getting hit so much by uh, stray bullets is going to be an awesome uh, extra addition here. Hot and fresh out of the kitchen, of course. Mama rolling that body got every man in here wishing, of course. Uh, we have... Two bombs. We should use them to possibly get into our curse room, although I'll admit money is another possible motivation if we could blow up uh, some rocks like we did right there. Fantastic. Get the best of both worlds and... Burkano Rune. Fairly arguable that this isn't worth what we paid for it. <laughs> I think that's fair, but at least we didn't pay a spirit heart. Should make our boss very easy to kill as well. If we ever find it. I really thought we were probably getting close to the end there, but no such luck. Okay, so we have our shop. I can always uh, avoid blowing up the donation machine and just blow up rocks instead if we really like what we find. And to be honest with you, we probably do really like what we find in chaos. But uh, our MO here is going to be oh, to get the deal with the devil before we pick up chaos that way we have an, an extra chance at guppy items apparently chaos pulls from a different pool this was like a tip that came through on nick's stream during a donation that i was actually unaware of i mean now we're getting into like some serious high order isaac stuff um like this is information i had no idea about but uh apparently when you get chaos it pulls from a different pool that has all the guppy items in it, thereby making it much more likely that you end up actually getting a guppy item as a result of the fact that they make up a higher prevalence of the items that are actually in the remaining pool. Now, that I, I probably explained that perhaps a little uh, incorrectly, but the sentiment is correct there. Don't quote me on the specifics, but the sentiment should be correct. I believe in miracles! Where are you from? You sentiment. Sentiment. Yeah! Okay, what do we got here? Uh, we're gonna get to 15 cents, which is good. I put that bomb down there by accident. Just moving my hands about the keyboard here. So we're gonna go check on Chaos. It has provided me with two tarot cards, one of which is the Empress, one of which is Death. We want neither of those, I'd say, so we're just going to move along here. And uh, this should be interesting now. I mean, this run is, is we've got like a little bit of a, you know, pool irrespective run, a static pool run, if that makes sense. The, the items are no longer bound by the specific parameters in the room of which they've spawned. Oh, I would have loved to have had a chance at an arcade on this floor, but obviously that's not doable. This is... Um, where we're going to be hoping to open as many chests as possible, go to as many item rooms and shops as possible, because if we can get a... Uh, well, let me just put it this way. The more uh, chests we open now, the more likely we are to get the Guppy transformation completed. It's like in the movie, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Where do you get the golden ticket? If you answered Wonka bars, you're correct. Thank you for supporting the television and film industry. I don't know where that came from, but anyway. 
It's like if the Wonka Corporation decided that, hey, we're not selling enough Wonka bars, we still want to do this golden ticket thing, marketing says it's going to take off like a shot. Um, so what we're going to do is just put golden tickets in all Wonka products, or at least the chance to get a golden ticket. All of a sudden, you're not getting Wonka bars uh, just for the hopes of getting a golden ticket, you're getting any sort of candy that you desire. You know, you can get a Wonka bar, you can get an Everlasting Gobstopper, whatever the other things they sell in that movie, I can't remember. It's like Caramel Flim Flams or something, I can't remember. The Great Depression. Now, excuse me, sir. Thank Excuse. Hey, pardon me. Okay, thank you. Uh, the converter or an HP upgrade? Well, the converter we could pick up immediately. The HP upgrade, we need to wait for a bomb. Ooh, I would like to get the, the pact, that's for sure. One bomb can get so much for us on this room because of the kind of interlocking, uh, rocks with bombs embedded in them, so... I think that's probably where we'll use... Oh, but now I gotta put my money where my mouth is. Okay. Oh, that was so stupid. What's more important, the pact or a single HP upgrade? Or the mark or a single HP upgrade? Definitely the mark. So... That is going to put us one penny shy? Are you kidding me? Come on. Don't do me like that. Oh, you did me like that. Okay, well, honestly, for five cents, we should be able to get... Enough. Okay, now we've we started the dream. Now we're gonna get the mark, which will give us our spirit heart back that I lost due to being a, a moron. But this is still very valuable. The extra damage is quite nice. In the end, if we have to take converter, we can take converter. I'm not saying we're gonna get much of a benefit out of it, if any benefit at all, but... Oh my god, it's another tiny one. They've been popping like flies here, but... Dropping like flies? Locking like flies? I can't remember. Anyway, um, we just uh, would prefer to have the HP, especially considering we might be doing like absolute garbage deals with the devil in the future. You never know, right? We probably went that way. So it's this way. Yeah, we never went that far. Stand back. A fifth cent uh, allows us to buy... Not a bomb, because we already bought the bomb for five cents in there, that's true. Okay, but one bomb here does so much for us, because it opens us up to being able to get two bombs. And then for one of those bombs, we could get another bomb, plus all of the money that we would get from the Lucky Rock here. And that's the real benefit of Lucky Rock in this situation, is, you know, turning what would be an otherwise neutral trade into a trade that is fantastic. Can we actually get in here with this? I don't think so, we might have to... Yeah, we might have to just accept it like this for now, and then get ready to put down one more bomb in the future. So it's really two bombs for two bombs, but it's not really two bombs for two bombs. It's, it's two bombs for two bombs and like 15 cents, which is great. Already, like one bomb for the deal that we got is fine. But I do wish that I hadn't... Uh, well, that, first off, that I hadn't wasted the bomb. Secondly, I hadn't taken so much stupid damage, but... That's the that's the life of a northern lion in Isaac is stupid damage, man. Good stuff, and we're safe. We get GB bug and black candle. Honestly, black candle is a pretty good get here. Now we can actually see where we're going. GB bug is I'm not gonna say a waste, but it's it's not particularly strong. That's a, the polite way to put it. My mom said, uh, you know, if you don't uh, have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Which, I, honestly, those are words to live by. I know they sound like words from a simpler time, but uh, it definitely holds true for unsolicited advice. If you ain't got anything good to say, don't say it at all. But how am I going to let that person know that they look stupid and I don't like their shirt? They don't. They probably think in their head that they look stupider than you think they look even with your judgment. Just let them be happier. If a lot of people loved each other, the world would be a better place. Tommy Wiseau, 2007, The Room. My God, he's right. It's a, just a poignant cinematic masterpiece. Uh, did he deflect the damage from Blue Candle? Have we found a new airbender? Look, I don't know what that shit means, okay? I just quote it because it plays well on the internet. 
Um, look, I'm not even going to pick up Converter. I want to keep the Spirit Hearth so we can use them in the future. So I guess we're not getting a bomb. So we missed out on 1 HP. We, again, we can go back get Converter, get to 3 HP, but I, I don't want to not have access to my uh, Spirit Heart and Demon Heart because I want to be able to use them on the next floor to facilitate a deal with the Devil if possible. It's The item room ended up being shit is the longhand version of that, or the shorthand version of, of this situation. I would probably take Shoop to Whoop. Uh, honestly, like our damage is good enough that I don't need to lean on... Blue Candle that hard, Shoop the Whoop working once every two rooms would be nice, and uh, focus on our tears. No Shoop the Whoop. But bombs. Not but bombs. That's something completely different. But bombs. No more jumping. Oh, no jumping, please, though. I would. Uh, okay, your neutral fly hit me while you were in the air. So what is this? Some kind of. Uh, some kind of magic? fly that doesn't fly with you but somehow is still attached to you on the ground even when you fly even though this makes no geographic sense is that what happened it's some kind of magic fly riddle me this for some reason i wanted to finish that with riddle me this xerxes i don't know it doesn't make any sense at all you think there was like a rash of babies i'm not, not like a medical rash but you know like a rash in terms of like there's a lot of them in 2007 and 2008, named Xerxes and Leonidas. There's gotta be, right? 2000, well, that was like nine years ago. Anyone watching this have a nine-year-old named Xerxes or Leonidas? Because you conceived your baby while you were watching Zack Snyder's 300? You, this is a safe place, you can be honest here. There's gotta be some! And I bet for a couple of years, it seemed like a good idea. I'm not trying to, to hate on you, uh, ooh, that's pretty good. Leonidas, I gotta say, once the stench of 300 is washed away from the public consciousness, it's gonna be a pretty dope name. You'd be like, yo, my name is Leonidas, but you can call me Leon. That could be worse. I'm a, I'm a big proponent of giving your child, uh, what I would call, if, with my own judgment attached, a normal name, so that they, you know, can ascribe meaning themselves, you know, they're not, um, forced into being like, my name's Basketball because my dad likes it, you know? But... Leonidas, it could be worse. It could be better. But it, on the whole, I don't know if your kid has to have a unique name. What if you just gave him like, well, is there anything wrong with having a kid called David? I don't think so. I mean, I got a normal name. I, look at me, I turned out just fine. Uh -hoo, uh -hoo. I just wanted to, you know, make that crazy for dramatic effect, but you get the idea. This run is like the run that we lost, believe it or not, uh, in that it's very kind of... Oh my god. It's losing its edge. Oh, okay, well, that's one way to generate consumables. Um, it's, it's losing its edge faster than I'd like it to. I really need, like, one deal with the devil to come over the top and really impress me here. Like, we're already late for boss rush. That's fairly irrelevant. Like, I'm not super concerned about that. But, uh, I'd like to have the ability to do boss rush if possible. And, got, you know, I, know I can see forever pill here, I guess. I am going to crack into that. And I immediately regret it. Just a total waste. The blue map pickup is, is really just for... I mean, the secret room stuff is nice, but apart from that, if I can tell you a little secret, it's just for mapping purposes. It helps me uh, with somewhat uh, reliable nature to find the uh, the boss room. Wow, GB Bug just tore ass. That was, like, the first time I've ever been impressed with GB Bug's damage. And you know what? I think I've learned a little bit about uh, about this item today. It's not that bad. Got one more? Two more, actually, probably, yeah. There we go. Okay, two more, and then we also have the death card, which we will pop. And I'm hoping on something solid in this item room, man, because, I mean, I'm looking at the items on the right side of the screen, and I'm like, they're pretty good. We got some good items going on over here. But I could use... Just a little more, and that is a little more. Growth Hormones is an awesome pickup. Just realized I called 
roid rage growth hormones two episodes ago. My apologies. What's hilarious is that I'm apologizing for it before it even happens on YouTube, but because of the fact that we're doing like one to two episodes a day of Isaac right now, it's going to seem like it comes much later. So it's, it's a can't win situation for everybody involved. Can't win fever. Not interested in that. Uh, we've been to item room, we've been to shop, and it's been good so far. Okay, get Brownie dead before it even knows what's going on here. It has been done. I did take damage, but to be honest with you, I'm really glad that I kept our... Uh, ooh, a Thame. Weird. I'm really glad that I kept our uh, Spirit Hearts to give us the Deal with the Devil chance, even if we didn't end up getting a Deal with the Devil. I didn't know that when I was making the conversation. If I did, I probably would have revised my feelings on it, but uh, a Thame is pretty good for us. We can at least... Uh, can at least make something happen there from a defensive standpoint. Probably should be using Lucky Rock a little bit more aggressively, but I mean, we, we can't. We can only buy as many items from the shop as there are items in the shop, you know? It's not like getting an infinite amount of money allows us to buy an infinite amount of items, at least not without, uh, you know, restock. Oh, I don't like standing here at all. Well, uh, I'd like to try to keep our spirit hearts alive. Found our item room. Scorpio's okay. If we get hit, we'll go to the curse room. If we don't get hit, I'd really rather wait until we can get a spirit heart so we can sacrifice our spirit heart to go to the curse room. And, you know, I don't really care what we pick up in the curse room. I just want to give ourselves maximum deal with the devil chance. Although, to be honest with you, at this point, if you gave me the choice between a curse room item and a deal with the devil item, I'll take the curse room item because it's going to cost us less HP. Or at least cost us HP less permanently. So, boss rush is out of the cards for us. Throw down some bombs for money and also potentially some extra cards of our own. I don't know. The, the, what scares me right now is this whole 2 HP not incredible damage thing. It's not inconceivable that we could pull ourselves out of this, but it, it's starting to get a little more dire than the average run, that's for sure. That's obviously uh, not what you want to see out of your secret room there. So I'm hoping that maybe our shop is down here. Well, when I said down here, what I actually meant was up, you know, on the other side of the map from where I was presently standing. It's a common misconception. Okay, we might be able, and we don't really need money anymore in all likelihood, so might be able to get a spirit heart out of that, and we did not. That's the good stuff. We're... Oh, God! The soul just saved us so hard. Now, we might not get a deal with the devil regardless, and we might take damage that prevents us from even having a chance, or a good chance of getting a deal with the devil regardless. But the soul standing up to that bone and saying, No! It's uh, just a landmark moment in the Isaac franchise. The likes of which I didn't, thought I'd never see again. That was beautiful. We got one. At least it's a luck upgrade, but one penny is not a good deal there. That being said, we did get Guppy's tail out of our uh, out of our shop, and that's the one of the principal benefits, of course, of of your chaos pickup there. But we're kind of desperately going to need something here. Well, you know, I guess we're just gonna head in and hope that we get a deal with the devil. I'll pay whatever they want me to pay for a deal with the devil guppy item if they have it on sale. Or for sale. It's, again, one of the reasons the English language is very silly. On sale, for sale, similar meanings, but different enough to cause some hilarious misconceptions, I'm sure, at stores nationwide. Worldwide, I guess. Oh! I f fucked it at the last possible second. Okay, let's head down here. We're almost, uh, we're almost guppy. We got a little ways to go. Oh, I just bumped into the microphone. We got a little ways to go before I, uh, and hello, before I'm able to get guppy. How's it going, Cade? How was your rehearsal? That's good. If you guys didn't know, Kate is the creator of a woodwind quintet. The Hikari Woodwind Quintet. She shouts from the other room. 
that uh, specializes in not only playing accessible pieces of classical music, but also video game music that I actually have uh, custom arranged by a, a local music arranger in the Vancouver area. So you can check out... Um, what's the URL, Kate? Slash there you go. Look at that. You can go to Kate's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ProBox Studio. P R O B O X Studio. Or you can go to patreon.com slash Hikari Woodwind Quintet. H I K A R I W O O D W I N D Q U I N T E T. Did I get that all right? I think I did. Look at that. We're giving out. Um, we're, we're the new Kanye West, Kim Kardashian uh, power couple here in Vancouver. Just cross promotions, you know. I'm coming out with a sneaker brand next year. It's going to be called Sneezies. It's not. I'm not coming out with sneakers. I wouldn't know the first. I barely know how to tie my own sneakers. But you should check it out if you are interested in, uh, in supporting that and also seeing some awesome video game music performed by some accomplished musicians, including my wife... All right, enough of the, it's not even shameless self-promotion, but it rolls out the tongue better than just shameless promotion. Help, 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 okay, good stuff. We haven't been hit yet on this floor, which is surprising to me. And now that I've mentioned that, probably likely to, yeah. Do you see how many shots I put on into that guy? I hit him like 10 times and he did not go down. Oh, come on. Is this how this is gonna go? Even with chaos, we don't have enough damage to kill the fucking the, the beheaded uh, diglets before they get up here. I refuse to go out like this. This is like two losses in one day of recording is not okay. This is not how it's gonna go for me. We'll take our key, get the hell out of here. Thank you very much. Now I would would like to go to that cursed room. That much is indisputable. But, uh, you know, it, it may not be in the cards for us, unfortunately. It also may not be in the cars for us, but neither are many people worldwide. I can really only think of, like, Rick Okacek. I well, guess your justice I needed. I needed bombs, not keys. Oh, we did get bombs out of this. Okay, come on, Stone Chest. You know you want to pay out with Guppy's head. Well... Just get the heck out of here, but also go back and get that bomb, but then get the heck out of here. That was a joke about the cars. This <laughs> on here on explaining the joke radio. That was a joke about the cars. 1980s band, well known now for their Circuit City commercials. I guess you're just what I needed. This is a, a terrible boss fight for us right now. I mean that sincerely. Um, Mama Gertie is just a total pain in the ass. If you can't fly, so our pretty much our only option. Oh my god! <laughs> pretty much our only option here is to just finish the fight as soon as is possible. The other thing we could do is operate under the assumption, which I'm sure is false. Oh my god, that um, maybe the they only the spikes only show up in the middle and don't show up in the center or something, or maybe the spikes never show up directly on top of you, but I'm quite confident that that is false. Holy shit, we actually lived. Okay. Well, no deals with the devil for us, of course, but we will take Samson's chains. Ooh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Secret room. Guppy's head. Do it. Shoot the J. Shoot it. Oh, don't walk on the spikes. And we, we were long past the point where it's like, oh, that's so cute that you walked on the spikes, Northern Lion. Oh, let's win 20 regardless, haha. -ha. No, we, we at the point now, that's a real issue. This room looks real familiar. Every little bit of damage you take at this point is, is a life wasted, like a fucking Pearl Jam song that was covered for Guitar Hero 2, because back then nobody believed in the power of rhythm games. So they do like, I don't want to be associated with that shit. I'm too busy getting my songs into Tim Burton movies. It's per Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam did that. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm not sure if they said I don't want to be associated with that shit, but... 
Actions speak louder than words. Okay, here we go. I don't know. Do actions speak louder than words? I can shout pretty loud. Okay, that's just a bomb. This is a very important moment uh, for my well-being today. Great work. We have Succubus now, by the way, thanks to Kimby and Conception, I just noticed. There was no doubt we were going to pick up Succubus on that deal with the devil when it showed up, but uh, I'm happy to have it regardless. Oh, we did earn a deal with the devil, just let me... Oh, no. <laughs> Why you gotta do me like that? Haven't you heard the classic rock song, Don't Do Me Like That? You're doing me like that, and that is not a good way. Like the Boston Bean Dipper or another sexual position I can make up in my head. The old Krampus Claw Hammer. It's gotta have alliteration. That's the that's the, the key there. Okay, we don't have any bombs. So we can't blow this up. Guess we'll just head to the cathedral. We got Lump of Coal, which is fine. And we also got uh, Demon Heart, which is actually quite necessary right now. Never gonna say no to that. Well, I think GB Bug might have done a lot of work for us right there that I barely noticed. So, it's time to say thank you, GB Bug, for your support. I appreciate it. Good job, team. Just keep it up. Just keep it up. Bait him into bait him into a bait him into a laser. Bait him into a laser. He didn't get baited into the laser. He's too smart for it. Oh, now he lasers. Only because I reversed baited him into a laser by thinking that I gave up on my baiting into the laser. Bad start. Oh, gave us a spirit heart nonetheless. Probably should have noticed that actually. I think we're probably just headed straight down, and I don't mean like on a, you know, run basis. I mean like, you know, the direction that we should take is probably straight down. Gotta have a steel hand, man. I don't know what that means. But whenever you uh, take damage, make sure to try to use a Thame to get a, a black card out of it. You know, oh, come on. A little sneaky move there, but... Oh, there is a Spirit Heart and there is a Tinted Rock. You know, Samson's Chain may indeed end up uh, doing some great work for us here. Come on. You think that it's kind of like a shitty item? And it is most of the time. At least not amazing, but here it may have, uh, if not saved us, at least given us a, a much better chance at success on this particular floor. And then we can use our 14 keys to hopefully become guppy once we get down to the chest. Judgment? The gauze. Pop the gauze immediately. Judgment. Oh, I wish. I wish I could. I wish I could. But we can't, so let's move on. Okay, I'm going to throw a bomb in here. I just want to open up, like, some uh, sight lines so I can sneak a little bomb in there or sneak a little uh, blue candle in there. For the second blue candle run in a row, it is, like, the thing that is propping us up against an otherwise unjust universe, but that's okay. There are worse items to have to rely on. Cough, cough, dry baby. Cough, cough. All right. Great stuff. This would be a great time for an Emperor Tarot card. I know people hate to see uh, the chest being skipped. It's kind of a necessity here. If we can. We got Temperance instead, which is just absolute shit for us. At present. This could be a big moment, though. We're hoping um, maybe for an awesome trinket, but honestly, I would take uh, just like two Spirit Hearts. is a great start. Better card as well. Give me a bomb. I can blow you up. Give me anything at all. Oh, it's not good enough. I think. I'd rather have luck for the chest. There we go. One spirit heart. Oh, a card. It's a second temperance card. Give me a bomb. Pulled into Nazareth. Was a feeling bad. Okay. Feeling bad I have past dead. Just looking for a spirit heart so I don't die. On youtube.com slash northern land. We put like 40 cents in this thing. Got a couple spirit hearts and the get out of jail free card. Oh! Have mercy. No, I don't want blister. 
Oh, but I do want the hero font. I do want the hero font. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune. Store credits worth nothing, but Wheel of Fortune is better to take down than get out of jail free. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not fighting Mega Satan. Or am I? No, I'm not. Or am I though, but maybe. Don't think we want Cursed Skull. We're done, man. This is it. I mean, it worked out pretty well. I really don't want to fight Mega Satan. And we fought Mega Satan recently. Although that might be the episode that was lost to time. So, um, I'm not sure. I think I'd rather just have one extra guaranteed item. As much of a cop-out as that may be. Can't believe I put 67-something cents into that <laughs> fortune teller. I mean, it gave me four spirit, arts, four spirit arts, which is pretty good. But at the same time, kind of hoping for like a, you know, a little something over the top. Not a little something off the top. This isn't a haircut. What's a haircut? Oh, it landed decent. That might do it right there, right there. Ah! Not poison anymore either. One more hit, just get it right over the middle. Easy peasy. No bombs, unfortunately, but more than enough keys to accomplish our goal. We got Black Candle. Should be set in that department. Toothpicks. Book of Belial. Uh, many books. Uh, passive ability to fly is awesome. I don't know if we really need Book of Belial to, to be straight with you. Like, uh, I feel like we're f I'd rather have the Blue Candle, honestly. Oh, God. Uh, but the, the toothpicks is good, don't get me wrong, and fate is pretty good. It's a little late for it to be, you know, maximum efficacy, but it's certainly not bad to be able to fly and avoid all the creep down here. Now, I'm going this way, which kind of flies in the face of my, my average chest strategy. It's just because I don't trust that second secret room to be close to the boss fight. It looks too close to the spawn room for that to be likely, in my opinion. Now, the poison, combined with a couple of hits, should be enough to take out most of these enemies. Chest. Yes. No reason not to. We already ruined permanent polaroid invincibility. I'm just waiting for, like, one bomb so I can actually use my Wheel of Fortune card to get some effectiveness. Otherwise, we should have had Get Out of Jail Free, and then maybe... I don't know, maybe fighting Mega Satan would have been faster and ergo safer, but... Very stupid decision on my part, but we did get a chest. I don't want to say we got a chest because we got hit, but we did get a chest. And uh, it's given us Guardian Angel, which is actually okay. An item that rarely shows up, so thank you, Chaos. But honestly, by Chaos standards, this has been a pretty unchaotic run. It's been pretty ordered. The tower. Well, here's what you do. You get Wheel of Fortune. Play it a few times. And then you pop the tower card. And he gets four pills out of it, which is just an incredible return on your investment. Infested's okay. Relax matters little. Health down is horrible. What makes you small is the smallest possible benefit that I could be even the slightest bit happy about. Well, at least these guys, like, cannibalize each other's shots. That makes my life easy. The beams pretty much destroy everything in their path. Except each other, apparently. You're done. You're done! Gotta put on like a 1930s Catherine Hepburn accent for that one. You'll never work in this town again. Leonardo DiCaprio as Howard Hughes in The Aviator. Which is my only reference point for one of the greatest actors and actresses the world has ever seen. I did not even know that you were still alive, to be honest with you. Not Katherine Hepburn. She died a few years back. Okay, missing page two for an extra black card. I mean, I really hope we don't end up needing it to survive, but... With the track record lately, I'm not completely sure. Okay, just wait, and it's dead. Oh, the quarter. Just what I've always wanted. You heard me earlier on this run. I was like, oh, you know what we need? Like, more money. 
not more opportunities to spend it. I believe I said, give me some money for no reason. Come back and ask for more. Hematemesis. Relatively meaningless. It's vi oh my god, they all fired at the same time. I'm getting a little uh, TO'd by our inability to take a run over the top, man. Is this the new normal in Isaac? Just going to stay at like uh, get to like a 6 out of 10 power level on the second floor and then stay there the whole run? Or are we just eating the shit of variants, you know? I'm going to burn so much HP on this fight. I'm so ready. We're going to use that. We're going to walk in here. Guardian Angel rotates around like it's out of its mind. We're going to take advantage of that. Do more damage than you would otherwise expect us to be able to do in very quick succession. I'm still trying to dodge the neutral fly. It's not as easy as it might look. Oh, it was nice to just run into something and use our beam to do damage. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.